Hello and welcome to In Affinity. We're going to look now at four brushes, um, which are quite easy and they cover the kind of things we've been doing, but slightly differently. So we're just going to take this picture. We're going to zoom into a bit of detail here, just so we can see the kind of thing it can address. So here we've got this area here, and you've noticed here this kind of pretty noisy and and so on up here. And where we're going to is down here. And uh, you might see the smudge brush, blur, sharpen, or even one median, whatever that is. So let's have a look at those in turn. They're very simple. You take the brush here, you've got the usual stuff up here. So if we take the opacity, for so on I'll right uh, left square bracket to change the size of it. And as with all brushes, you can see underneath it what it's going to do. And this is the blur brush. And guess what? It blurs things. So we've got noise. If you paint over noise, then it sort of blurs it, which can smooth it out. However, the problem with blurs, if I paint over other things here, you can see it sort of blurs the edges as well um, and makes the whole thing just blurry. So um, we'd rather not do that. I'm going to use the history down here. I can just pull this back and go back to the beginning. So that's the blur brush. To do that, if you want to just change the amount of blur, just change the opacity there. Um, often in this, you'd start off quite low, hit the number one for 10, two for 20, and you can do it a little bit and then do an extra bit on top and so on. Particularly useful in larger areas or in bits where you've got the brush at the right size for this. And you have to fiddle with the hardness to suit. So let's go back to the beginning, or I can just tap down here like that. That brings it back to the beginning. Well, that's the blur brush. The next one is the sharpen brush. And this does a similar sort of thing, which is, you know, and again, you can adjust the opacity here, which is to sharpen. And if you keep on brushing and a bit more and a bit more and so on, and maybe even turn the opacity up just to show the effect of it, if you keep brushing too much, you can see what happens. It over sharpens. Now there's all the little pixels jump out and it, it's quite a mess. So sharpening, you'd be very careful with and not overdo it. Then what else is there? What you can do as well is a thing called the median brush. Medium brushes, it's you know, you know, what the heck is that? In fact, people often skip past it because they just don't know what it is. And it's very, very simple. It's a, it's like the blur brush, but it is good at managing edges. So I take this here, the medium brush, and I'll leave it at 100% so that it's, it's okay. And then if I paint over here, but paint over the edges as well, you can see it's not blurring the edges. Yeah, so I can actually go back over this yeah, and it's taking out those that bitterness, but the edges it's it's remaining. The, what we did before kind of messed that up. So if we go right back to the beginning and paint over this, we can see it, it's pretty good. So you can paint over things to to blur things, and be reasonably confident that the edges won't be affected. Just check when you do, because sometimes it's tweaked a little bit. It can't quite manage it, but it's generally very good. So it's like a blur, but doesn't blur edges. And that's all the medium brushes. And I don't know why they've got a picture of scales there, but there we go. And finally, the smudge brush. The smudge brush, um, in this, by the way, that you can see there's no opacity, but you use flow in this, effectively does the strength of it. And this, if I go across here, you can see the effect. It's like running, if it was paint, you can smudge that off. And you can use that for things, like if you wanted to, say, just blur out some of the, the lettering here. You don't want people to read that. You can just, you can do things like that. And you can use it a bit like a blur if you're careful in the right direction. But if you go in the wrong direction, it'll do that. And if you turn the flow up, then you get a great big effect like this, which keeps on going. So you can see that kind of thing. And that's one of the things that, that flow effectively does. So keep that normally down to around about 20, 25, that kind of level. There we go. And that's it. That's four brushes. 
useful for tweaking things. Let's just do one more thing whilst we're here. And we'll go into this guy here. And if you want to say to disguise the face, we can take a smudge brush, make it a bit bigger. Oops. There we go. Don't know what I hit then. And I can just kind of like smudge it about a bit there. So when you go out again, you can't see the difference. The body's been disguised. So this is the kind of thing that you can do with those four brushes. Again, blur for general blurring, sharpen for sharpening detail. For example, if you want to sharpen the eyes, that's typically in a portrait. Median, blurring without harming the edges. And last of all, smudge just kind of swishes around the place. And you could use that, for example, for turning a, a photograph into a painting. Anyway, that's it for now. And thank you very much for watching.